Hey, what is going on, guys? In this video today, we're going to be attempting to settle the controller Fortnite settings and aim assist debate in a bit of an interesting way. If you're a controller Fortnite player, there's basically three different aiming options available in-game for you. Legacy, Linear, and Exponential. And I have a feeling a lot of you guys have tried multiple, if not all, of these different options at some point in time, because I know I sure have. Now, I've made a few different videos detailing the various advantages and disadvantages of the three different options, but at the end of the day, I'm only one opinion in the grand scheme of things. So what I want to do with this video is showcase the opinions of many other people. My goal is going to be to take a look at roughly 15 to 20 very good controller Fortnite players, and then share whether they play on Legacy, Linear, and Exponential, and also if they have any comments about their choice. I also want to make it clear that I'm not trying to make any kind of statement with the controller players I choose here. I'm going to try to get a variety of Xbox, PS4, competitive, public match, and creative players. So don't freak out because I didn't include one specific player. Trust me, it literally doesn't mean anything. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, so one last quick disclaimer is that I tried to find the most updated settings info available for all of the players that I chose, and most of what I found was from within the last week or so. But there's always a chance that someone could have switched from, say, exponential to linear without saying anything, so there is a chance that maybe one or two of these are wrong, and there's not really much I can do to prevent that. So now that you hopefully understand that, let's start going through these players in alphabetical order. Assault is on Linear, and has been on Linear for roughly two weeks now. And apparently he's a pretty big fan of that choice, because about a week after switching, he simply tweeted, Linear is Alpha. Aiden's a really interesting case, because at first he was on Legacy, and in a video a few days ago, I accidentally said he was still on Legacy, but he actually changed that a few weeks ago to Exponential, but now, literally on the day I'm recording this video, he just switched to Linear. At this point, it's kinda unclear whether he's gonna stay on it, so I'm not sure what to actually count him as, but there you go. Destroys our first legacy player on this list, but don't worry because he definitely isn't the last. X switched to linear about a week ago, and after doing so, he tweeted, Bro, linear actually turned me into a monster. Not even kidding, I hit every edit and I'm way faster. So he definitely seems to be happy with the switch so far. Innocence is currently on linear, and he's probably one of the biggest advocates for using linear out of all the top controller players. Players. I specifically remember him tweeting a few weeks ago things like, if you're not on Linear, you're a bot, and also that Linear helped him so much once he finally got used to it, so you can take that for what it's worth. Faze Jarvis, and yes, I know he's a bit of a controversial topic in the community right now, so you can get your jokes off if you must, but before he got banned, he was on Legacy. Faye Sway is on Linear, and has been for a little over a week now. Atlantis Lecce is a guy who's been on the new settings from the very beginning, and even though I believe he was on Exponential for a while, he's now on Linear. Nick Merckx is a really interesting one, because about three days ago, he actually made the switch to Linear, and here's a quick little clip of him talking about why he did that. Like, um, you know, there's no more L2. You can't, you can't. You can't L2, L2, L2. Um, you can't have edit mode aim assist. I've been playing with that for a while. But, uh, like, on the edit stuff, like, the edits and the builds are supposed to be a little bit cleaner. Like, a, 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 like a lot cleaner. It, it's, not, it's not supposed to be as choppy. But I've been having a hard time understanding how that would make sense. If this is an aim assist thing, you know, like, how, how does it... How does it help with your building and your editing? 
But then, as you could probably tell in that clip, he was a little apprehensive about the actual effects of linear, and that eventually resulted in him switching to exponential a day or two later. So last I checked, he's on exponential, but he's clearly experimenting with stuff, so I'm not totally convinced that's set in stone. Razor X, who's the only console player on this entire list, is on Legacy, and a few days ago he actually uploaded a video titled something along the lines of, this is why I won't be switching to linear, so I wouldn't anticipate a switch from him anytime soon. Sharp is on Legacy settings as well, and he actually tweeted about a week ago, Legacy's alpha, I don't care what anybody else says, so he seems like another player who's really confident in his choice. Shaw is another person on this list who switched to linear fairly recently. He tweeted about a week ago asking his followers, should I switch to linear? And then a few hours later, he followed that up by tweeting, okay, I'm switching to linear, hopefully I get goaded. Upshaw's still on legacy settings and aim assist. I know about a week ago on stream, he did try out linear for a little while, but unless I missed something, I believe he switched back to legacy shortly after that, and as of right now, that's what he's going to be sticking with. Unknown X Army also uses Legacy, and it's funny after seeing so many linears in the beginning, we're now getting a nice run of Legacy players here towards the end, and hold the phone on that because here comes Wavy Jacob who also plays on Legacy. But I also need to admit that the clip I found that shows his settings was about two and a half weeks old, so it's probably the most outdated on this entire list, and it is possible that he switched since then. Then. Wolfies, who was the highest placing controller player at the Fortnite World Cup, is actually on linear. And the final person on this list is actually going to be me, because it's my video, so I'm allowed to do whatever I want. I'm currently on Legacy and have been for the last few weeks now. I experimented with both Exponential and Linear, but even though I felt they had some advantages, the ADS snap-on that Legacy gives you was just too important in my opinion. But I'll probably try the new aim assist and settings again sometime in the near future, and who knows what'll happen from there. So based on my count, we covered a total of 17 different controller Fortnite players. My goal was to get it more towards 20, but I just couldn't find any recently updated settings Twitch clips slash YouTube videos for a lot of the people I wanted to include, but I still think that 17 is a really nice sample size, and let's break down the data of what we got. In total, 8 players that we covered are on Linear. Aiden, Assault, X, Innocence, Lecce, Sway, Shaw, and Wolfies. 8 players are on Legacy, Destroy, Jarvis, Razor X, Sharp, Upshaw, Unknown Army, Wavy Jacob, and me. And finally, Nick Merckx is the only player currently on Exponential, but like I mentioned, Aiden only seemed to be testing Linear, so I guess there's a decent chance he may end up back in the exponential section as well. I don't know what you guys were expecting, but these results really don't surprise me all that much, and they're probably right in line with what I thought we'd see. Linear and Legacy both have clear advantages and disadvantages when compared to each other, so when choosing between those different options, a lot of it's going to depend on each player's own personal playstyle. I definitely didn't expect a straight up 8-8 tie between Legacy and Linear, but it just goes to show that both are incredibly viable options. So if you don't feel comfortable going from Legacy to Linear, or maybe vice versa, I probably wouldn't recommend pulling your hair out trying to make the switch just because your favorite YouTuber streamer plays on those settings. I'm also not surprised at all to see Exponential clearly in last place here. If you think about it, Legacy basically gives you the same type of aiming mechanics as Exponential does, but it also has what most people agree is much stronger overall aim assist. So my suggestion to anybody still playing on Exponential who likes it more than Linear is to just simply go back to Legacy.
So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you watched the entire thing, be sure to let me know with a comment down in the comment section below. Out of all the controller Fortnite players I mentioned throughout this video, who's your favorite, and no, you aren't allowed to say me. Be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, do whatever the heck you want, and I will catch you guys next time.